weekly look at the new release shelf begins right now. Here's Phil Shirakawa. And another episode of the Album Drop is on the air. Good afternoon to you. Thank you for being a part of today's broadcast. Huge stuff coming up today. Over the course of the next 60 minutes here on CHUO. I'm going to get to some fantastic new music. But, well before we do any of that, I want to say hi and hello and welcome to our guests joining me across the glass here in Studio 3 at CHUO. It's the Motor League. Hi, guys. Hey, man. Sup? How's it going? Thank you for being here. I'm doing fantastic. How's everybody doing in the... Uh, we're great, man. That great. intro was killer. That's a great intro you've got there. Well, thank you very That's much. I made it myself. That's really nice. good. You did a good job on that. Well, I appreciate that. We can talk about my contract production work after the show. Because okay. um, everybody's got a side job because it's 2016. Yes, That's true. Um, side jobs. Hey, you know what? It is what it is, right? So, um, you guys, um, the last time uh, we talked, I spoke to Don, I guess, uh, in March uh, over the telephone there. Yes, sir. And... Um, from what I from what I've gathered, um, you've been kind of just out pushing the record, hitting hitting the roads hard. How's uh, how's the year been treat? How's promotion for holding patterns uh, been treating you? Oh uh, man, you know what? It's been pretty solid. Like we've been doing the same thing we've always done, and I think the only thing that we know how to do is just get out and play as many shows as we possibly can. And uh, that's definitely you know ramping up this year. I think this year we'll, we're going to end the year with uh, the most shows we've probably ever played in a year, which is good. And, uh, you know, the radio's starting to turn around for us. I mean, we're we're from New Brunswick, and we never really had a, a solid plan or a cookie-cutter, you know, way to achieve any kind of a longevity in, in anywhere outside of the Atlanta provinces. But, you know, we've been out here just banging shows out, and it's been going – I'd say it's been going pretty good. It feels like it's coming along. We get to come in here now. That's good. That's a step up. Is that is that a challenge for bands, especially from the East Coast, just to, like, get – exposure outside of your home region yes i think most most especially english bands don't really get a, a lot to, there's not too many english bands from new brunswick out here doing it right if any not really no and uh, when i say like english i mean like the francophone bands you know obviously have a great connection with in europe and they have a great connection with quebec but we, we kind of are lost on that a little bit we gotta like jump over the beast that is quebec for the most part because uh, because you guys obviously sing and r- perform in english That's yes right, yeah. um which is yeah, I, I get that for sure. Now, um, we've got you've got we're gonna talk about your show tonight uh, in just a little bit, and there's a few more shows booked up. But what does um, what's the rest of the summer look like for the Motor League? Um, this, we're gonna be home for like a couple of weeks, and then we're flying out to BC. We're gonna do a show out there and with uh, like Metric and City and Color and Eagles of Death Metal and um, Standstills and Royal Tusk. Yeah, it'll be a packed festival called Rock the Shores out in Victoria, and yeah, it's gonna be, be a good it. jam. And then uh, we got another uh, festival in uh, Nova Scotia, and then yeah, a, a date at the end of August, and then continue hammering on in the fall. Okay. Cool. Yeah. It's a good festival season for. I think this is yeah. probably the most festivals we've ever gotten to do in a year. Yeah, it's still absolutely. never enough either. It's like, yeah. oh, you guys get to do like six great big huge outdoor festivals. We're like, we wanted seven. Yeah. <laughs> Can never get enough of the outdoor shows yeah. for sure. Well, I think. I mean, I'm no, I'm, I'm no, you know, professional musician, but I, I, I've read enough about it to know that live performances is probably the biggest chunk of band income these days. Would that be a fair statement? Uh, on good nights absolutely yeah. on bad nights not so much there's definitely some nights where you you know you lose a few bucks by the time you figure out a hotel room and the gas and all that stuff yeah it goes either way but yeah i mean for the most part so without giving away too much of the business how do how do you guys get by how does how does a band get by today uh you work side jobs like we just mentioned yeah man pretty much that's the key i think it's just you got to really want it you got to really want to do it but everyone's got side gigs at home when we're home we've all got things we're doing to pay the rent all right well that's uh that, that's unfortunately what i thought you were gonna say it just you know <laughs> not, nowhere near as glamorous as uh people think it is, is you, would that be a fair statement oh yeah, yeah, very not much for so. us you always hear about people like in bands that you love like one of the guys in the weaker lands or something has a job you're like how does someone in the weaker lands have a job you know you always you're shocked when you hear that guys in like bands that you just figured were like guys that made it you know and they're still working side gigs from what i understand drake's still working at shoppers drug mart yeah. so mm, um yeah it's it's uh it, it's it's an industry-wide phenomenon <laughs> which, um, which shoppers <laughs> yeah <laughs> 
All right. Queen so, of Bathurst. It's a different kind of shopper's drug mart. You know what I'm saying? Not really. <laughs> I actually don't know what you're saying. Well, he started from the bottom. He's almost there. Um, <laughs> so, um, getting away from bad jokes, I noticed that you guys brought in all of your gear. Um, can we talk into playing a little something for us? Yeah, man. Yeah, let's do it. So what, uh, what are we going to hear? Uh, I think we're going to play track three off of Holding Patterns, which is called Wounded Animal. This is, uh, this is a jam we've been doing acoustic a lot that we kind of like. And you're going to hear it here on the album drop, only on CHUO 89.1 FM. And they're here on the album drop on CHUO 89.1 FM. Gentlemen, thank you very much. That was fantastic. Thank you. Oh, Thanks for having us. Thanks for coming. Beauty. Now, look, I see that you guys got a fair bit of van time left this week through Ontario. Um, starting with tonight, uh, driving down a couple blocks to Mavericks tonight. Yes. Um, what do you guys do? Do you guys, uh, do you guys have, have van games? Do you, do you listen to podcasts? Or do you listen, try to scan through radios? How do uh, how do you guys pass the time? Whoa. We do listen to podcasts. That's very, very good, man. We, yeah, absolutely. We crush the Taggart and Torrance podcast, which is the best thing in the world right now. Yeah, well, for long drives, man, that's pretty good. Yeah. But a lot of times we've been out, too. Like, a lot of we've been into radio stations. A lot of the DJs have their own podcasts, right? So, like, any podcast that we can get our hands on, we've been yeah. downloading and listening to and stuff. It's the, it's the idea of having content that you don't have to worry about reception. 
and just instead of you know worrying about battery life, right? Oh yeah, well not even now because you plug them right into the phone and yeah, the much, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, cigarette lighters, cigarette lighters. <laughs> it's not even a cigarette lighter anymore, is it? Like, not really. It's a charging yeah, station. Let's be honest. Yeah. It says it says something about your age though if you refer to it as a cigarette yeah. lighter as compared <laughs> yeah, to. Yeah, uh, true. Anything else? Yeah. I, I mean, um, I, I, this is a question I get for a lot of bands that kind of come through this region and then kind of have to backtrack west before heading back out east. How does, like, because you're playing Ottawa today, and then you've got Oshawa, Brantford, and then you finish off the week in Van Cleek Hill, which is actually east of here. Um, how does that happen? It's, you, you know what? You can never get the, the day that you want in a city. It's like, oh, well, we really want to play this city on this day, and then that would make our you know driving schedule like a perfect circle. But unfortunately, it just never works out that way. You know, Ottawa came up, and it was like, oh, we, you know, you can have Ottawa on Tuesday, but it, it, it does mean a bit of backtracking. So we're like, well, we'd rather do it than we'd rather do Ottawa this run than not. Yeah, and I mean, right? like, so. coming out to Ontario compared to out east, it's like the drives are super quick, and it's nice weather and great highways. So it's, yeah. Well worth the that's a, rip, that's, that's rip a around point. there. You know? That's a good point. A yeah. three-hour haul across Ontario is not really that big of a deal for us. When, yeah. You know, when you got to do like a 12-hour haul to St. John's, Newfoundland across an island. You or, know, so. you know, to the next city from Moncton is 12 hours to Montreal or, or you know, yeah. an eight-hour rip to Quebec or something. So we're, we're three hours is like, oh, you know, get a few podcast episodes in there. It's great. In a beautiful <laughs> province with smooth roads. I like that's that. Right. I like that you brought that up. <laughs> See, I guess, I guess it's just the Ontario-centric perspective I have of... You'd have to drive all the way to Oshawa tomorrow. That's awful. But you know, I guess it's not that bad. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. Let's talk about tonight. Playing at Mavericks. Um, yes. uh, who else on the bill? Uh, our really good friends, Sidelines, uh, which is a fellow from where's Reg from? He's from Northern New Brunswick. Is he from uh, Saint Louis de Kent? It's uh, a guy from back home yeah. in New Brunswick, and he's he's moved out here, uh, you know, professionally. His, uh, his job moved him out here, so he's got a great punk band now, so we're going to play with them. We're looking forward to that, that and this was a, kind of a last-minute banger for us. It came up last minute, we're like, yeah, we'll absolutely do that show. So, And tickets are available at the door? Yes, yeah. absolutely, yeah. Ten bucks, it's going to be a great night. And if anybody enjoyed what they've heard over the last 15 minutes, then it's imperative on you to go and support this band, because you just got content for free, and don't forget that. <laughs> It's going to be a little louder tonight, though. Yeah. A, little, a little more drums and a little more electric guitars. It'll be fun. No, sh- no shakers tonight? Uh, probably no shakers tonight. Probably a lot more cymbals. A lot more okay. cymbals, yeah. Cool. Well, gentlemen, again, thank you so much for coming in and doing the show. We really appreciate having you here on hey, CHU. It was awesome. All right. Um, we're going to take our only break of the hour here on the album drop on CHUO 89.1 FM, but make sure you stick around because when we return, lots of great new music, this week in music history, and a whole bunch more. So uh, stick around. It's all going to happen right after this actually wait hold on it's gonna happen in like 15 seconds um right after no i don't have it so i have to talk for a minute <laughs> but thankfully uh the motor league is still here um <laughs> we did not leave in that 15 seconds okay. it, w- it would be really impressive if you did because um first of all how the heck could you do that right um Let's th- let's talk about on the way uh, coming back. I got stuck in the elevator and I had a moment. Ooh. I got in the elevator and I thought I could take the elevator up, but I I got stuck in the Ottawa University elevator nice. and I was deathly scared for a minute. Not of like dying, but just of being the guy that got stuck in the elevator and had to call nine one one for help. <laughs> I'm stuck in, that actually happened. I'm not even kidding. You mean that you're just coming down to the studio here? Yeah, when I was going back up to get to get the, the one guys. flight of stairs. Like, you get in the I'm elevator and you press elevator. floor one, and it's just that elevator doesn't. And then the doors wouldn't open, yep. and I was having a little bit of a panic attack. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> See, th- this is something that everybody who works here has been through on several occasions. Okay, but to, so. to hear that it's happening um, to other people uh, is it, very reassuring. I yeah. must tell you. No offense. No, it's okay. And the only way I got out was another gentleman came into the elevator. So when he pressed the button from oh. the outside, it opened up. You and lucked I was out. Like, yeah. 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 I got out of there right away. <laughs> so that's some good advice for people passing through. And again, gentlemen, thank you so much for being on the show. We are going to take that break now. We're all set up. <laughs> this is the album drop on CHO 89.1. More after this. Mm-hmm. 